You, I'm sure, are just as troubled and maybe distressed as I am at the occurrences of the death of our children. I was counting just today at how many of our children, children of our nation, who passed away in the last few days. And I counted about 10, it's probably more. Four of them murdered. One allegedly committed suicide. One found in a garbage bag. One burnt to death. Yeah, some of these were accidents. But these are children nonetheless. And I'm here today urging the Seventh-day Adventist family, we need to do more to protect our children. We need to do more to protect the other vulnerable persons around us, the elderly, the women, the disabled, or those with disability. And I'm just here today to appeal to the Church of God. Number one, that at our next church service, we spend special time praying for our children. We take some of the time affirming our children. And of course, I think, I know, I believe that we have a responsibility to reach out to our children in many and various ways. Jesus had high regard for children. And in the book of Matthew chapter six, Matthew chapter 18, verse six rather, Jesus said, but whoso shall offend one of these little ones which believe in me, it were better for him that a millstone were hung around his neck and that he would drown in the depth of the sea. Jesus paid very significant attention to them and he sought to protect them. He even admonished us in the same chapter, Matthew 18. He said, the angels of our children interact with God on a regular basis. That tells me that God the Father and Jesus, they have high regard, special regard for our children. I'm asking please that the next time we have church service, you spend some time praying for our children. The next time we have church service, please, Spend some time affirming our children. I'm also asking that as a church, we work with our vulnerable children. Some are more vulnerable than others. We work with our children to protect them from abuse, physical abuse, sexual abuse, neglect, and emotional abuse. These are precious children, and sometimes we take them for granted. Can I say a quick word to children who are hurting and to children who are abused? Tell somebody. Let somebody know that you are being hurt and that you are being taken advantage of. If you are a child and somebody touches you inappropriately in your private genital areas, those private areas, yes, tell somebody and ensure that those inappropriate, uncomfortable touches are reported to your Sabbath school teacher, to your teacher in school, to your parents, to the elders, even if it is a church member who is doing it. Can I say a quick word before we end this? To say, if you are traumatized as I have been, and it is paining you and hurting you, that you're hearing of the death of these innocent babes, then you talk about it. You get it out of your head. 
You share how you feel. Get somebody you can trust. And even if you have to cry, cry. If you have to get professional help because it is becoming overwhelming now, get the help. We need to protect our children and those who are hurting because of what's going on with them, we ourselves need to get help. May God bless you. May God bless our children, our seniors, our women, our men who are vulnerable, and may God bless his church. Let's keep them together, and let's keep them strong in Jesus' name. God bless you.